Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Deltarune, part 6. In the last episode, we met the puzzle guys who went to Shawm's shop. We had a discussion about Lance's scary laugh across the grave board, and of course, we got to name our team. I have one small thing to point out, which is that the save point, all save points, seem to have a very altered sense of time. Here it says it's been 64 hours. Just look at the last play so far. The last episode on its own was like 52 minutes. It's time in the dark will distort it or otherwise slowed down. Seems to be that way. Because that time is extremely inaccurate. We'll continue to cross the gray board. Ah, we're not done with this yet. Oh, yep. Just like last time, if you touch the white line, we will uh, get sent back in time. Not in time, but in space. All you have to do is take two steps forward each time and you'll make it pass just fine. More rhyming. Again, those puzzle guys are rubbing off on me. The pond man? Are these real pond man? Like, are they alive and just sleeping? Or are they decorations? I mean, I'd assume they're all alive and just sleeping. That seems to be a lot more likely. Oh, speaking of them being alive, <laughs> there's a lot of them. How many of them can we get on screen? Oh, yeah, they can have... A lot of them on screen at the same time. Again, I think that Toby Fox said that if you were able to run past that board without touching any of the walls, you are able to outrun them entirely. I haven't managed to do that myself, though, or seen anyone else do it. And again, I only watch Blind Let's Play, so... The possibility of someone doing it on the very first try is extremely small. It's not easy at all. Ponman fell asleep. Susie fell asleep. <laughs> that is absolutely perfect. I love it. So despite having no ears, they can still hear Elsa's song, naturally. Why would I expect anything else? Chris, you can spare. Elsa, you can pretend to pacify. I never have enough TP for his pacify spell. Yeah, since I don't have I don't have anything to do with Elsa, other than attacking. So, I have a few more talking points I wrote down on my little notepad. Susie is still asleep. Is she ever going to wake up? Maybe one day. I have a few more talking points I wrote down on my notepad. Which is... Why is Chris designated as the leader? I mean, we are de facto leading the team. It even says that in Chris's description, which I will check after this battle to see if it changed. Chris is the leader. But why? Susie doesn't agree because she doesn't play along with us at all. He's sleepy, so let me just get the fight. Pacify, doesn't matter. There we go. It seems that Ralsei is the one that, like, pushed us into this leader role, if that makes sense. And Susie, well, she doesn't really care either way. Why is that? Not a safe one already. Sure. The great board, too. Wouldn't it make a lot more sense for Ralsei to be the leader, since he is native to this land, right? So he should know his way around here. Mm -hmm. Well there, RC. Ponmen are scary. But all in their... <laughs> this is not easy to read. But all in their doing is following the king. Us on the board used to have our own boss. Those were peaceful times. But now, even the boss has been reduced to the king's peon. Yeah, so king just uh, subsumed... Everyone, essentially. The only one that remained. My name? Mr. Elegance. And these? These are my nostrils, not my eyes. Oh. And still see out of them, though. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that little face? That's not a face. It's just a mouth and some nostrils. He has no eyes. But he can see from his nostrils, which at biologically makes... Sh sure, Toby Fox. Sure, I'll, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go with that. Fear not. We, unlike the simple pawnman... Possess full faculty over our actions. I, Mr. Society, am far too intelligent to ever bow down to such a tyrant. Unless he asks me. He is very scary, you see. So every single thing we are hearing about the king is, he is evil, bad, and scary. Ho oh, ho ho, well, step on my boots. Lancer is a big fan of attempting to swear without actually knowing how to swear. <laughs> if it isn't the... Uh, name I'm not allowed to say. You boys or girls have better turn back while you can. 
Lancer, what is it this time? Ho ho ho, I'm simply warning you. Something extremely dangerous is lying ahead. Ho ho ho, it's actually really convenient. Ha, I can't even go home at all because I'm so scared. What is it? Oh, hey, little guy. That? That is what you're afraid of? Wow, purple girl, you aren't scared? Heh, why would I be? What's it going to do? Well, normally. It reached the end of the board and it got promoted to a queen. With legs. It crushes people to death, I think. Here it comes, oh boy. So our little little mini boss from before now has a crown and has grown legs. This is exactly what we needed. He transformed from C round to K round. We can check, bow, deep bow with Ralse or warn him. Well, we know the deal. We should start by warning him. You explained to Key round about the importance of dodging Susie's attacks. I hope he will be cognizant of what that means this time. Oh, but it didn't seem to understand. Never mind. Whoa. <laughs> I think this is one of the first attacks we have where the enemy physically jumps inside of our uh, dodging box other than Lancer. k round shuffles furiously. Yeah, so first he marched with his tiny legs and now that he has big legs, he is shuffling around. Let's check him out before Susie uh, kills him. Or I'll say you can defend. And Susie, well, you do your thing. K round, attack nine, defense six. We, uh, defense three, rather. We finally found it. We found an enemy with a defense higher than zero. Is this significant? I don't know. Check? That's chess, not checkers. Funny. Yeah, so they combine like chess. Ah, <laughs> what is this attack, man? Leg attack. So yeah, they combine chess with checkers on this great board. So we can... Yes, or the simple bow. See what that does. I'll say. Continue defending. You bowed to K round. It bowed back. Its crown loosened a little bit. Hmm. That's it, Chris. If we can get its crown off, it should turn back into a little guy. Susie, help us bow at it. Nah, its crown will come off. When I smash this guy into the ground. I love it how... Huh? k -Ron felt stressed out and attacked? Excuse me? k practiced self-care. k HP and attack went up. Susie, stop attacking it. You're making it stronger. Psh, a little thing I'm afraid. No way. I thought it was new for a second. Yeah, he used to drink that. Uh, what did he drink anyways? It's 50% lose. 15% lose. What did he... It looks like he drank some milk. Something like that. You and Ralsei together both bowed down. K round bowed back, its crown loosened even more. Susie continues throwing her axe at his face. So he jumps back at you like the first attack, but this time he pile drives straight down and fires stars in a explosive pattern. Let's continue debobbing. That seems to be the key to defeating him pacifistically. I hope he has enough health. <laughs> Oh my god, all of his attacks are leg-based in some way. Kobe Fox and his legs, man. First marathon, now this. Continue debowing. We're almost there. Two more debows should loosen the crown completely. Now, I might be reading way too much into this, like I love doing. But, Ralsei seems to be fully aware of how to deal with K-Round by loosening his crown. If the crown goes away, he will revert back to his previous form. Is that simply Ralsei just, you know, being intelligent and using, you know, logic to figure out that that's probably the case? Or is that some sort of prior knowledge? Let's have a simple bow to end this. Yeah, more of my idea that Ralsei might or might not know more than he's letting on. And there he goes, just rolls off screen. No more legs. Only 25 dark box, that's it? Man, disappointing. I should have grazed more, maybe. We... we did it? 
she is surprised that we managed to defeat an enemy without, well, beating them into submission. Wow, you guys really are heroes. You saved the next 20 minutes of my life. Yeah, yeah, I am pretty great, huh? She's feeling herself. Um, Susie, not to downplay your contributions, but you didn't actually help at all. You only made everything worth by, worse by attacking. If you had just acted nice to it in the first place, we could have avoided that entire battle. Huh? Are you for real? It, that thing was bloodthirsty. The only thing keeping it at bay was my axe. And earlier, you terrorized those troops. Those guys were enemies. They're for terrorizing. I mean... Susie, I think both Susie and Lancer here have a point, actually. Yeah, she's right. But even Lancer agrees, despite the fact he's supposedly on the other side. And before that, you ate an innocent person's cake. Cakes are also my enemy. <laughs> okay, granted, Ralse absolutely has a point there. Susie, whether you like it or not, you're a hero. One with the power to bring peace to the future of this world. Could you please start acting like one? Yeah, when you lay it out like that. I have been a pretty bad hero, haven't I? All right, Rouse. You got it. I'll change my ways. From now on, I won't be such a rotten hero anymore. I'll just be one of the bad guys instead. But really? You're you're going to be on my team? Yeah, sounds way easier, honestly. S Susie, you can't just Quiet, toothpaste boy! Susie is my comrade now! <laughs> yeah, toothpaste boy. Now they're ac actively ganging up on Ralsei. We're gonna have monogram track jackets! Yeah. And sleepovers, where we tell each other secrets. Um, yeah? Sure. Anyway, um, see you guys never. If you can't even last that long. Chris. Perhaps I shouldn't have been so hard on her. But I just worry that if Susie is too eager to fight, then... Well... Let's just be kind to her, okay, Chris? I'm sure Susie will come around. So yeah, in a very entertaining plot twist, Susie has now decided to leave the quote-unquote good guys entirely and join Lancer's enemy side, Lancer's bad guy side. The blocky foliage grows thick above your head. The power of the forest shines within you. So I do think that Ralsei, Ralsei from the start, you know, from the whole rehearsing thing you mentioned he did, he had a very uh, determined, not what am I saying, he had a very clear idea of what he wanted the heroes to be. He wanted the heroes to seal the dark fountain, etc., go back home, restore the balance. And now that Susie isn't doing that, he is very pushy, I would say, about Susie acting a certain way. And now that Susie has decided to go the complete opposite direction, Ralsei is very eager to, well, quote-unquote, correct her so that Susie will act back the way that he wants her to act. Hey, it's the puzzle guy from the floor, the exact same one. Hey, kid. We managed to fix up this whole thingamajig for you. The door? It's some kind of door. It can take you anywhere you want in the world, as long as that's on two locations. Anywho, we'll keep it working, and we'll keep working on it. Anything to help you out, kid. Oh, are you helping me because I gave you some donation? That's nice. That's very nice of you. Where does Dora come from? I don't know. Come to think of it, I've never seen it before. Huh. Well, thank you for maintaining it regardless, even though you don't know what it is. And it's the, uh, what's his name? Mr. Elegance from before. Whoa there, horsey. Mrs. Society and a puzzle guy fixed that door. Since it was just the three of us, it shouldn't work without any issue. It should work without any issue. Anyhow, uh, I hope it'll help you deal with the king. So most people here that aren't 
hired by the king slash Lancer to stop us seem to be against the king. They want us to, even though we're outsiders, they want us to stop the king. It's a door. Where will you go? Field or forest? Uh, let's go to the forest. Amazingly, you are already there. Yeah, <laughs> so that's impossible. Field. Or you could see it as very successful. The door opened. So yeah, it's a flat, it's a fast travel system. If you want to go back uh, quickly, you can simply use the door. Let me quickly explore on my own to see if there's anything different. Yep, as you would expect, the blue puzzle guy, the master it seems, he's not here anymore. Now, obviously Susie is not with us, so that makes me very curious. I've never tried this before, so this is actually new to me too, which is always very exciting to me. What happens if you talk to the Susie puzzle guy and uh, Susie's not here to talk back? Warning. Oh, I knew it, Toby Fox would change it. Toby Fox is always good about going back and changing things logically to fit current story circumstances. I love this. Susie's gone. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. What? See, no spacing. Seems like warning is obsolete. Fact. Susie's gone, so no facts. Will you two pick up the slacks? These rhymes are getting worse and worse, man. Attack. Susie's gone, so no attack. Will you two pick up the slack? Okay, I think Toby Fox kind of phoned it in on that one. A different rune from last time drew near. That's new. Why is it a different guy? Why, why is it new dialogue for this? Oh, well, I want to say random encounter, but it's clearly not the random encounter. Wait, are you actually different? Let me check you, I guess. There's a Bivolo Diamond is any girl's best friend. That's oh, the same. See, so yeah, I'm, I'm simply backtracking because from Runner Tale, I know that going back to areas you've pre previously completed sometimes has new content, which is what I'm doing right now. And this counts as new content, I guess. <laughs> The door is still closed. The power of backtracking shines within you. Oh, uh, Toby Fox just called me out on backtracking for no reason, pretty much. That's actually funny. Assumedly, another different route had appeared. Okay, I need to see how many different variations of this dialogue are there. All right, I'm here for a third time. How about now? Ah, it's the same thing. Susie, the Violet Tormentor, left your party immediately. The power of mean girls does not shine within you. So yeah, pro tip, if you are a completionist and you are not backtracking in a Toby Fox game, then please start doing so, because as I'm showing you right now, a lot of stuff does change. I mean, it's minor dialogue and stuff, but if you care about that, then this is absolutely worth it. Do you have anything new to say now that your friend is gone? Hmm, Mr. Elegance has run off on some hellish errand. Fixing the door with the uh, other guy, the puzzle guy. Huh? No, I didn't help out at all. Huh? Why are, why are, or aren't you asking? Wait, you didn't help out? Didn't they specifically say that you did help out? Like, he said the three of you fixed the door. Why are you now denying that? Oh, this is like a side threat I need to pursue. Hey, you, guys have anything, you got anything to say about that? Miss Society Puzzle, yeah. This guy says Mrs. Society, and then the puzzle guy fixed the door, so three of them. Oh, is there something I'm not understanding here? Hmm, anyway. Like I said, backtracking is great. The blocky foliage is trying to continue. Let's continue and move on to new content. Yep, that's it. Let's go. There we go, new music. Oh, spoiler. There's a jump scare up ahead. <laughs> Rabbit slithered in the way. What are you? You're like a drooling blob with bunny ears. I, I I love it. Check blow on or breathe all. Man, I don't know about you, but it feels a bit empty without Susie here, doesn't it? Rabbit attack eight, defense one. Okay, now they're starting to have defense. Maybe the fact that every all the monsters in the early game have zero defense is just supposed to signify that they're early game enemies and they're weak. I don't know. This dusty bunny needs a bit of spring cleaning. Meow. I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. 
Ah, well, it's a difficult attack, actually. Apparently, it's predictable, but the heart moves so slow, it's a bit hard to dodge all the way without fully predicting it. Rabbik emit, emits a musty groan. Hmm. Let's, let's blow on you. I'll say you can uh, just wrap yourself up. Press A repeatedly, blow air. Yep. And there he goes, a soft and clean boy. You blow on the Rabbik and it turns into a tiny little boy blob. Rabbik emits a musty groan. What if we continue blowing on the Rabbik? Well, so you can heal yourself. I think that's the first time I even healed. It blew away entirely. Hmm. So that's another way to spare. You can blow on them twice and that will count as sparing them as well. But yeah, like I said, there's new music. Excellent. This is a much more... Oh, never mind. It goes, it goes away. I was going to say a lot more uh, downplayed music track. Susie, Lancer. <laughs> well, if it isn't a so-called heroes, are you finally ready to see what happens? When you try and act so soft against a team that crushes anyone in their way. I mean, granted, I did fight against some monsters. I wasn't fully pacifistic, to be fully honest. Dark Jack Lancer. Violent Axe Susie. Together we are the Dark shit Squad. Lancer, no swearing. Um, so what's your, uh, evil plan? Uh-huh. Dude, we just formed our team. We haven't done anything past our intro yet. Have a little patience, please. Oh, um, sorry. We're, um, looking forward to the rest. Heh, <laughs> well, you won't have to look forward for long. Starting now, we're going to work ceaselessly. Unstoppably. To make an evil plan to thrash you clowns. Watch your backs. And your fronts. Hmm. So, Ralsei went from, you know, wanting, wanting Susie to be a good guy to... Now he is playing along with it all. He's playing along... He's playing along with... Yeah, you're friendly. With... Susie joining Lancer, even though that was not in his plan, in his rehearsal, if you will. Don't mind me, I'm on a break. Say, help me, I need to get something for my friend Clover's birthday. Her only interests are sports, cute boys, and trees. Well, we got two of those things here. Maybe I'll just get her a card. Maybe I could put some money in the card. No, oh, I need that. That's how gifts work, my friend. Ah! There's two of them. Rabbix slithered in the way. Anything new? We can breathe all, so... Ralsei should take care of both of them at once. Because all the Ralsei icons commands are... Multi-hit! A nice and tidy girl, a refreshing boy. Whoa, there's another bunny now. Upstairs. Upstairs? Up on the box throwing carrots at us. The battlefield is filled with the smelly but with the smell of dusty mustard. That's what I mean. Toby Fox, for whatever reason, loves his smell-based flavor dialogue in battle. You won! We got 76 dog dollars. I love the way Ralsei claps when he uh, when the victory animation happens. That almost was a good sentence. Yeah I'm just looking at this mushroom. That's all I'm doing. I'm just looking at a mushroom. Is it the only mushroom? Nah it's repeating. When you play games like these, you must have an eye for attention. Even for seemingly insignificant stuff like this. Rabbik ambiently damages the soil. If you're wondering why I'm all the way back here, it's because I went back to make sure I saved. Because I know for a fact, this scene is going to have some variation in it I need to try out. Rabbik is looking for a couch to get stuck under. <laughs> They're like... A combination between cats and rabbits or something like that. So as I was saying, this scene right here has some variation in it. We need to exhaust. So what are you guys doing? What is this? It's a stump with some kind of dinner hole in it. Excuse me? Uh, how's the evil scheming going? Huh? Oh, that? We, uh, got bored. So we're having a snack. I see. 
Come on, all I ate for breakfast was chalk. And I didn't eat anything. Can you eat something? I mean, you said you could osmose milk, so, I mean, that's... I was gonna say drinking, but no, that's osmosis, not drinking. <laughs> anyway. Uh, sorry, what are you two having, exactly? Just a daily treasure I hid, I hid inside this stump's orifice? That sounds as unappetizing as you could possibly make it. And that is... A feast for yourself, my main man! My main man. <laughs> Chris, do you want to, um, try it? We can make Ralsei try it instead. We can outright decline so that no one tries it. Or we can try it ourselves as Ralsei wanted. it. Hmm. I don't think this matters in the grand scheme of things. So let's simply go from left to right. Let's make Ralsei try it instead. Sorry, Ralsei, but, uh, you're gonna have to try this strange mystery food that Lancer prepared slash found for us. Oh, there's a honey pot inside. It's full of salsa. A honey pot of salsa. Bingo, you sweet little pumpkin. Ralsei's fake swears are the best. It's my secret stash. A little snackaroo from me to you. Well, you gonna eat the salsa? Mm, yummy, it's delicious. Come on, you're just pretending to eat it. Yeah, that's what I do too. <laughs> Wait, none of you actually eat it? <laughs> is Susie the only one that actually ate it? Is what you're telling me. <laughs> my power is lowered by my hunger right now. But once I eat something, <laughs> you really shouldn't have shouldn't have pissed me off, man. It shouldn't have. Silence, you sweet basket of eggs. <laughs> our dark energy rules. Uh, our dark energy bends the rules of grammar. Yeah, heck boy. So it seems that Ralsei... This is one of the few things that Ralsei does not see coming. Susie's unpredictability. And uh, this salsa, apparently, which he did not predict being here. Well, has everyone... Has everybody had enough? Constantly. <laughs> Mood. I just thought of more... Uh, character or like story stuff that I love to think about, you know me by now. Why is it that, well, we all know that Susie constantly attacks all enemies, that's her thing, right? And Ralsei taught us at the start that, you know, we can spare stuff, we can be friendly and pacifistic and stuff. But despite that, he is still perfectly willing to attack enemies if we order him to. Not like Susie, who does her own thing. Ralsei, as long as we order him, he will still listen to us and do something that he doesn't want to do on his own. Just something that I thought was interesting to point out. Uh. Alright, so who will try the uh, honey potted salsa this time? Let's... Uh, no one, apparently. Look, if no one will eat it, I'll try it. There's a jar of blood in here. Wait, is it salsa or blood? No, no, it's merely a pot of free-range salsa. That's not how that works, Lancer. Lancer's the kind of kid that likes to use big boy words without fully knowing what they mean. <laughs> Thanks, that's actually somehow more gross now. <laughs> Anytime! Hmm. Hey, what's in this? I don't know! <laughs> and lastly, what if we ourselves try it? There was a honey pot of salsa inside its stump. So that what Ralsei said was correct. You ate some of it. It recovered... something. Not HP, just something. <laughs> hmm. Hey, what's in this? So after all of this, am I the only one who ever ate this in any of the timelines? I don't know. It seems that way. Well, it did not kill me. Did it do anything to my stats as far as oh, I can see? Let's check our uh, descriptions again, see if anything changed. I'm still a leader. Ralsei is still a lonely prince. Sometimes those uh, flavor stats at the bottom also change, so every now and then, let's check it out. Oh, we got a... Oh, we have another one of these sequences, so simply rotate around the center. Avoid the, you know, spinning... Uh, chain, I guess? And you will survive. What are you? I think this is supposed to be like a coat rack? Coat hanger? Something like that? You folks look like heroes. Take the scar from this chest and defeat the king. Besides, it's old, ragged, and doesn't fit me anymore. 
That's what chests are for. It's kind of a hand-me-down situation in here. What are you? You look like... You remind me of that Japanese Gudetama, which is like a mascot that's like a really sad, depressed egg. You know what I'm talking about if you do. If you don't, you don't. That's the sort of wise commentary you come here for, aren't you? I'm just a little ball. I don't want to discuss anything. Yeah, like I said, just a depressed little ball. Just wants to be left alone. Inside a chest, we have Ragger. Ooh, you put Ragger in your weapons. Like this guy said, it's a scarf, so it must be something for Ralse. Eh? Or, I mean, we kind of have a... We don't have a scarf, we have an ascot. It's, it's different. I used to work at the castle until the king fired all the staff. What was my job? Oh, I was the royal coat rack. Yep, confirmed, it is a coat rack. Huh. King fired everyone, it seemed. Fired the puzzle guys, fired this dude. Probably everyone else that was previously there. Equip, we can equip the ragger on Ralse. I assume we can equip it, that'd be very odd. What if we try, theoretically? It's a rugged scarf that cuts enemies like a dagger. We cannot equip it, as expected. There you go, Ralse. have a new scarf. Feels prickly. Nice. Um, Ralse? Are you maybe like a masochist or something? Because we've seen like hints towards that kind of a thing before. Hmm. Through the power of editing, the chest is back. Now, why would I come back here? Because I would never do this on my own, because I would never think of this. But I do know for a fact, if you check the treasure chest first and then talk to the code rack, we get a new dialogue. Ah, that scarf. I noticed that you simply took it without asking. That's fine. It's my gift to help you defeat the king. You folks are really energetic and potentially criminals. <laughs> uh, I love this game. There's just so much unexpected variation from, like, just things you wouldn't expect. Like, how, who would think that taking the item from the chest before, quote-unquote, asking would result in... Like, realistic reactions from the code rack. Like, oh, you, like, we did steal it. We didn't ask for it. It's cl it clearly belonged to them. Uh, let's equip the ragger. Feels prickly. Nice. What are you guys doing here? Enter the password. All right, we've seen one of this before, but we haven't actually managed to solve it back then. No, note, due to everyone forgetting the password, it's written at the top. Nice, just like real life. What if we talk to them first before we do anything? Then add a mustache over there. <laughs> like this? Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. How's the scheming coming along, you two? Hey, don't look. Spoilers, dude. I know, Susie, I know. I've been avoiding spoilers hardcore for like the past week. Yeah, it's been a week since I started my very first episode. Well, 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 look who it is. The sweet little piece we love to see. <laughs> What are you even saying, Lancer? Hey, watch your language. Oh, sorry. Susie's trying to get me to swear more. Of course she is. Now, these two are really getting along, aren't they? I'm not sure if Susie is the best of influence on Lancer, but... I do think that Lancer is a good influence on Susie, though. So how do we solve this? There we go, easy. Almost solved it by accident, so you simply put the three symbols and then you switch all of them. And thanks for doing the puzzle for us, losers. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, losers. We were having trouble. It wasn't that difficult of a puzzle. We uh, need this. <laughs> yeah, don't forget your uh, scheming plans. Very important. Now I'm wondering when I'm going to see a safe point. This episode is kind of longish. We don't have a solution here, so. Let's come back later. I like the 52-minute episode as much as everyone, I'm sure. Hello there. But I do want to keep them around 30 minutes on average. If it goes on for longer, cool. If, But uh, yeah, if I can help it, I'll try and keep it a bit shorter. Blocks are assembled. So it's a bunch of blocks with a boxing glove. So blocks, boxing, I got it. Act, check or rearrange. Let's check first. And Ralsei will do his thing. Blocks are attack 9, defense 7, loves, training, hates, body being the wrong shape. Let me show you my training. Yeehaw! Oh, it's Tetris! Oh, it actually is Tetris, almost. 
That, that's a funny attack. I like it. I like it. Bloxer is thinking about training. So just like the hint said, we have to rearrange his body so that he is happy with himself. Let's see if we can do this in one try. Press E to choose head, body, or legs. His blocks will uh, shuffle, as you can see. We have to choose his head first. With E. I don't know what E is, I'll be honest. <laughs> what is E exactly? My keyboard. There we go. So head, torso, and legs. Oh, he's all happy with himself. Boxer is pleased with its new self. That's all you want. It's just for someone to rearrange his parts. I don't know how he managed to unarrange himself, but anyway. So down here we see three card pieces. Card, I don't know what to call these. Symbols. We got, uh, is that clubs? I think it's clubs, right? We got clubs at the right, diamond in the middle, and spade to the left. So spade, clubs, and uh, spade clubs, and just like that. So first you have to input the two ones first, then switch them, and then you input the final one and switch it again, and that's how you do it. It's also a bit more complex because you have you can't just input it instantly. You have to actually intelligently switch stuff around. Oh. Will you two also have different dialogue if I steal from the chest first? I actually do not know the specific instance of this chest. You open the treasure chest. Inside it was dice brace. You put it in your armors. Who can equip this? I actually don't know, to be honest. Is it ours? Yes, is it? Uh, Ralph says, oh, we can both equip it. It's a bracelet made of very simple inscribed cubes. Let's have Ralph equip it for dialogue purposes. It says friendship. Of course it does. Why well, would it say anything else? And if we equip it naturally, we say nothing. I just realized we don't have an amber card. I guess I gave him to. I did have. I did not have enough money. That's why. I gave it to Susie. I gave an amber card to Susie and I'll say. Oh wow. Oh bow bow. Like a dog, I guess. Break the box for a bracelet. Oh wow. It will boost your defense. He likes B words. That's his gimmick. <laughs> Bracelets are my favorite. I don't think these guys have special dialogue if you quote unquote steal from the treasure chest before talking to them. The king wants to oh, eliminate lightners, but we didn't agree with that. Ralse, not Ralse, Seem, Chom, sorry, specifically said the Ralse, the, the Ralsers, yeah, the Ralsers are gone. Jesus, speaking is difficult. The Shom, shopkeeper, specifically said that the lightness are already gone, so I'm not sure why the king wants to eliminate the people that aren't here anymore. We escaped, but the Oathers were arrested. Don't worry about talking to my associate here. Whenever Bao Bao talks, she, oh, it's a she. She always goes on and 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 on. Just keeps going forever. I think, uh, oh, I think the one who goes on and on is not her. Just, just saying that, friend, though. All right, so naturally, if we can do something right, we can also do it wrong. It's only logical, isn't it? So if we rearrange him the wrong way, let's put his head on top. His head on top, I said. <laughs> Controls, please! Uh, head on top, then his legs, and then his torso. Bloxer is still unhappy with itself. Oh, no, my face! It's my face! Wait. Oh, we got little Lego breaks this time. No more Tetris. So for every possible variation, he has something to say. I guess we're gonna go explore this right now. Hopefully this episode won't go on for too long. I should have started thinking about that, but uh, you know it is. I already made a mistake. I, this, this will not result in new stuff. All right, I'll show off all the variations next time. I promise. Oh, you mixed me up all nice. Whoa. There's actual patterns to dodge. Blocks and radiates with the spirit of joy. There you go, little buddy. Hope you're happy with your new body. Save point? Question mark? No save point. No save point still. Ah! Yeah, this is... This scared me a little bit the first time I saw it, not gonna lie. Alright, let's get this over with real quick. So here, up top, we have... Uh, more vandalism, it seems. It looks like it's supposed to be the solution of a puzzle, but it's been vandalized with a calligraphy pen. Hmm. Who else do we know who likes calligraphy? We've seen a person like that before. 
heard about them. It looks like the order of the symbols was red, black, red. So here we have to insert another solution to the puzzle. And if that's to be trusted, it has to be red, black, red. Red, black, red. Well, doesn't seem to work. We need more info. You look all happy. What do you gotta say? RK came by. What a hunk. RK rules card. He vandalized the puzzle to stop the lightners, but we know the answers. Oh, you want to get through? Of course we'll tell you. Um, the first symbol is a heart, just like love. Uh, does that help? Yep, it does actually, so the first symbol must be a heart. Let's go set that as a heart right now. As soon as I figure out the controls. There we go. First symbol must be a heart. This all looks sad and dejected. Um, symbol puzzle. All the symbols were different, I think. You can uh, still see the colors the way they were, so... Sorry, I couldn't help you anymore. So that actually is helpful. All the symbols are different, so... Just from that, I think we might be able to brute force it quite easily. As the third one, this one seems to be angry. Huh? Symbol puzzle! Why should we care? None of the symbols are clubs. Ah, uh, it's just downright insulting. So, no clubs. All of the colors are different, and the first one must be a heart. Let's see if we can figure this one out. All the colors are different, and no clubs. Hmm. And with that, we know the center has to be black. The last one cannot be a club. It must be red. So... There we go. That's one of the possible permutations. The solution is heart, spade, diamond. That fits all the criteria we have seen here. Yeah, as it turns out, all those three heads, they all belong to the same body. How exactly were they uh, stretched out that far? Because how they connect on the ground since they were so far apart? Don't ask. Hey, it's my, it's my birthday today. And you didn't even say hello? Uh, that's fine, actually. Stop and say hi, folks. Shut up. They don't deserve us. Hey, calm down, you two. And they're all bickering amongst each other's. Hey, let's celebrate my birthday. Yeah, get ready to hurt. Oh, I'm so sorry about this. Clover grew close. So what can we do with you, Clover? Oh, this is the most option we've had so far. Chuck, we can have Ralph say talk birthday, talk boys, talk sports, talk animals, or talk trees. Well, let's start by checking Clover first. Clover, attack 8, defense 2. Voice crack. Defense 2. Despite seeming like a mini-boss, they still have rather small stats. Two heads are better than one. Three, maybe not. Nice weather today. Please stop, you two. What? It's awful! It's a bunch of clubs that split into three. Very fitting, considering they have three heads. Clover is arguing about whose toothbrush is whose. So, we got a hint from before. Do you remember anyone talking about birthdays, boys, and sports? Hmm, maybe you do. Well, if you know, then you know that this should be the right answer. So, of course, we'll do the wrong thing first to exhaust her dialogue. Talk animals. Let's see where that brings us. Now we're trying sparing you. you. You brought up the topic of animals. Clover didn't seem to care. But I'll say failed to spare Clover. Animals are kind of nasty. Never seen one, but just awful in concept. What, animals as a whole? We've never seen animals, because you're all monsters, which are not animals, obviously. Clover is whispering about cute boys. There's a hint. Uh, you said boys. Well, let's talk about your... What, what else? Oh, trees. Yeah, that's not the correct answer, which is good for my purposes. You brought up the... No, that is, it is correct. I did remember trees. Wait, what's the wrong one, then? Birthday, I think. You brought up the topic of trees. Clover seemed happy. Ralph says spare, but its name still wasn't yellow. Oh, I love the smell of trees. Oh, me too. Uh, Paula makes us, uh, sure. Ah, this time all three of them are in agreement. They all, the, all of them like trees. Clover is bickering with herself. And that's a sentence you won't see very often. Let's talk birthday. Um, what would you like for your birthday? Uh, let's just have a nice chat. Just discuss our likes. Are you idiot, ask for a gift. Seems like you should talk about something else. It's my birthday. We're triplets. What? No, it's my birthday. Ah, oh, come on, gals. It's all of your birthdays. You're all 
part of the same body. He probably got bored at the same time, I would assume. Flora seems tired of discussing so much. Ah, I didn't know this. If you discuss the wrong topics for long enough, you can make her tired. Or them, since it literally is a plural. You can make them tired, so Rousey can spare. But we will continue. Let's talk cute boys instead. Um, what kind of boys do you like? Rainbow. Uh, cute ones. Hmm. Uh, nice ones like I am. Um, none. I mean, all. Seems like Clover enjoyed talking about that. Glasses are cute, I think. Uh, fluffy glasses, that's it. Him? Uh, sure. I mean, Rousey is absolutely the best choice we've seen so far. I don't think anyone can deny that. I love their little, little rainbow and all their smiles on her face to indicate they're happy. But we're not done yet. Here's the final topic that you love discussing. Do you like, um, sports? I want to eat a football. What? Sports, my favorite food. Oh, I love you too. Uh, yeah. Spaghetti and tennis balls. That's genius. We really agree on that. And despite the fact that you're past, uh, despite the fact that you like us now, you still insist on attacking us. Classic. Let's spare you. Or pacify you. Eh, let's pacify you instead. Not like it matters, but, you know, variety's sake. Well, say cast pacify. You won. We got nine, 60, not, uh, 64 dark dollars. I can count. And Clover just sort of uh, disappears entirely. There we go, save point. Oh, what's up, guys? What are you doing over there? There's no one here. Why am I mentioning that there's no one here? If you watch the big stream, you would know why. Let's save. In the heart of the woods, a bake sale stands quietly. The power of reoccurring bake sales shines within you. Undertale, of course. Spider bake sales. Thankfully, no spiders in this game. Forest bake sale, that's it. It says 115 hours. This episode was 60 hours. 60 hours? No, 60 minutes. So there's some behind the scenes of how long this actual recording session was. So it counted time accurately, it seems. When we started this session, it said like 60-ish, right? So it counted the time between this, the start of this session and the end of the session correctly, but overall, it's still very wrong. I don't know what's going on there. If you know what's going on, feel free to mention it in the comments. I, of course, will not be reading it, because like I said, this whole thing is recorded in one batch. I cannot respond to anything you write. But still, if you want to talk about it, go ahead and type it out in the chat. Now, thank you guys for watching. To Today we made, again, really good progress. Susie joined Lancer. I am really a big fan of that plot twist, actually. It is so fitting for Susie's character to join Lancer like that. I love the whole thing of having a party member that just refuses to cooperate and just does her own thing. And by the end of it, she just gets so fed up with your commands and trying to be the quote-unquote good guy. She just ends up joining the bad team instead, just for the sake of it. Absolutely love it. Next episode, we're going to see what this bake sale is all about. See you next time.